Parkinson's disease is one of the most common neurodegenerative diseases in the world, and it's still uh, difficult to manage. So the goal of our research is to understand the changes in the brain that contribute to different motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. The primary change in Parkinson's disease that leads to the behavioral manifestations of the disease is the loss of this chemical dopamine in at the base of the brain. So we try to understand how that loss of dopamine is linked to the behavioral manifestations of the disease. How come that somebody who loses dopamine eventually ends up uh, developing slowness of movement or tremor or the other manifestations of Parkinson's disease. What we do especially is that we use viruses as tracers. So those tracers are injected in specific area of the brain and what we're trying to see is where those tracers go depending on when we inject them. So we learn kind of a map of how the connection work and how the connection are established in the brain. The beautiful thing is that we can compare a normal state versus a Parkinson's state. So when you look at both, then you can see the difference in between the two. And then further down the line, uh, we can maybe help in the way the drugs can be administered because we learn more about the way the connection works from different areas. We are able to see brain changes in real time and uh, hopefully we'll be able to translate those changes into the human patient. I love working at the Emory Udall Center because it's a collaborative group of research labs and patient advocates where we do research in uh, many levels of analysis and different models of Parkinson's disease to better understand the mechanisms and how we can improve treatments and improve the quality of life for people with Parkinson's disease. I got involved with the Emory Udall Center approximately 11 or 12 years ago. I had been a young face in the Parkinson's community in Atlanta and the doctors and staff at Emory reached out to me asking me if I'd like to be a member of um, a committee a board of directors that would represent the Parkinson's community and be a voice for them. What I really love about my job is the opportunity to, to get to understand the complexity of the brain on a daily basis. What I love about my job is the combination of research activities and patient-related activities that really flow freely from one to the other. Uh, I also simply love to treat patients with movement disorder, so I'm, I'm uh, trying to help them and try to gain as much knowledge as I can through the research, obviously, to help them better in the future. While my life personally hasn't been impacted by Parkinson's disease, it has been impacted by other neurodegenerative conditions. Um, and while the underlying mechanisms of, say, multiple sclerosis and Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's are different, um, a lot of the fundamental questions and things that we don't understand about these diseases are the same. So some of the fundamental questions like, once the pathological cascade begins, can we stop it? Can we slow it down? Um, how can we improve the medications and the therapies that we have to improve the lives of patients? There's never a dull day working in, in, on Parkinson's disease and the adult centers. Uh, it's always something different every day. It's always challenging. Uh, you know, sometimes it, you know, it's research. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh, and when it doesn't, well, just roll your sleeve and you try again. One of the reasons that we do this research every day is, is because we, we are convinced that we can understand all the secrets a lot better and, and then come up with alternatives to treat Parkinson's disease. It's important and helpful for patient advocates to be involved in our research so that we can understand what they need most right now and how we can most improve their quality of life and also find out where they want to see the research going in the future. The doctors are caring and compassionate and you don't find that everywhere in the medical field. 
nowadays. But if you go to a UDAL center, you can feel confident that your treatment process is gonna be made just for you. And that's really important because Parkinson's affects everyone differently. I hope that we can identify more of the causes of Parkinson's disease so that we can actually halt its progression before it's gotten to the point that it requires treatment and that we can eventually find a cure for Parkinson's disease.